Welcome to Global Feed. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. For decades, Canada has struggled to replace its aging CF-18 Hornet fighter jets, a decision that will shape the nation's ability to defend its vast airspace for generations to come. The search for a new fighter is not just about technology but about sovereignty, security, and the future of Canadian aviation. Canada's role in NORAD, the Joint North American Defence Command, means it must be ready to respond to threats alongside its closest ally, the United States, and fulfill its NORAD commitments. The current fleet is old, and while dedicated crews keep them flying against the odds, their retirement is long overdue. Each year, maintenance becomes more challenging, and the risk of technical failure grows. This saga has seen governments rise and fall, promises made and broken, and endless debate over the right aircraft for Canada. Political leaders have faced tough questions about cost, capability, and national pride. With the world's second-largest landmass and a sprawling Arctic, Canada needs a fighter that's reliable, affordable, and capable of operating from remote northern airfields, often in some of the harshest weather on Earth. As of early 2026, the government is re-evaluating its planned purchase of the American F-35 Lightning II, reopening the door for the Swedish Saab Gripen E. The decision is more complex than ever, with new information and shifting priorities. The renewed debate isn't just political, it's a conversation among defense analysts, industry leaders, and the pilots who will fly these jets. Each group brings its own perspective, weighing operational needs against budget realities. This video explores the case for the Gripen E, a fighter many believe is tailor-made for Canada's unique environment, with features designed for cold weather and remote operations. By comparing its strengths to the F-35, we'll see why this Nordic jet remains a powerful contender for the Royal Canadian Air Force, and why the outcome of this decision will echo across Canada's skies for years to come. The Saab JS-39 Gripen E is Sweden's answer to modern air combat, a single-engine multi-role fighter built for efficiency, reliability, and ease of maintenance. Designed with the needs of modern air forces in mind, the Gripen E combines cutting-edge technology with a practical approach to operations, making it a standout in today's competitive fighter market. Its low operational cost is a game-changer for countries with limited defense budgets like Canada, allowing for more training, more jets in the air, and a larger fleet. This affordability means air forces can maximize their resources, ensuring pilots get more flight hours and the nation gets more value for every dollar spent. The Gripen's advanced sensors, electronic warfare suite, Alpracansum Microbomb, AlcRC, and open architecture software give Canada full control to upgrade and modify the jet without foreign approval. This flexibility ensures the aircraft can evolve with changing threats and technologies, keeping it relevant for decades to come. Born in the cold, the Gripen is designed to operate from rugged dispersed locations, even public roads, using small ground crews in sub-zero temperatures. Its robust construction and smart engineering allow it to launch missions from places where other jets might struggle, making it ideal for remote or challenging environments. This rugged self-sufficient nature is core to its identity. The Gripen can be rapidly turned around and maintained with minimal infrastructure, giving operators a true edge in unpredictable situations. The jet's high readiness rate means more aircraft are available at any time, not stuck in hangars. This translates to a stronger, more responsive air force, ready to meet threats at a moment's notice. Its design philosophy, maximum performance, minimum fuss, ensures pilots can focus on the mission, not the machine. The Gripen is agile, intuitive, and built to excel in the hands of skilled aviators. For Canada's harsh north, the Gripen's ability to thrive in extreme conditions makes it a compelling option. Its proven track record in cold climates means it's ready for the unique demands of Canadian defense. It's a fighter built for the very challenges that define Canadian defense, resilient, adaptable, and always ready for what comes next. Beyond specs and costs, Canadian pilots who've evaluated the Gripen are often surprised by its agility and responsiveness in the air. Many describe the jet as feeling like an extension of themselves, with its quick reactions and smooth handling making it stand out from other fighters they've flown. The intuitive controls and advanced cockpit design are frequently praised. One pilot remarked, The sensor fusion is incredible. The jet does the work for you letting you focus on the mission. Pilots say, The digital displays and streamlined interface reduce workload, allowing them to make faster, smarter decisions in high-pressure situations. 
During a snowy demonstration in Sweden, Canadian teams saw how a small crew could refuel and rearm the Gripen in minutes, a revelation for Arctic operations. This efficiency means jets can get back in the air quickly, even in harsh winter conditions, which is crucial for Canada's vast and remote northern regions. Experts note, this logistical flexibility could transform how Canada projects air power in the north. The ability to operate from remote bases with minimal support gives the RCAF a strategic advantage, ensuring rapid response to emerging threats across the Arctic. The Gripen's electronic warfare capabilities also impress test pilots, offering a significant edge in controlling the electromagnetic spectrum. Its advanced systems can detect, jam, and counter threats, making it a formidable opponent in contested environments. It's not just a dogfighter, it's a smart, survivable platform for modern warfare, designed to outthink as well as outmaneuver adversaries. Pilots appreciate its blend of speed, stealth, and adaptability. Defense analysts highlight Saab's offer of full technology transfer and local assembly, giving Canada unprecedented control and industrial benefits. This means, Canadian companies and workers would play a direct role in building and maintaining the fleet. The Gripen isn't just a product, it's a partnership for sovereignty and self-reliance. This collaboration could strengthen ties between Canada and Sweden, while boosting Canada's aerospace sector. For many, it's a comprehensive solution that exceeds expectations, offering not just a fighter jet, but a pathway to greater independence and innovation. The feedback is clear. The Gripen E is more than meets the eye, promising a new era for Canadian air power and national security. Comparing the Gripen E and the F-35 reveals two philosophies. The F-35 is a stealthy, high-tech, first-day-of-war jet, while the Gripen is a versatile, cost-effective workhorse. The f 35 stealth and sensors are unmatched, but it's expensive to operate and maintain, with readiness rates often below 60%. The Gripen is about 60% cheaper per flight hour and boasts higher operational readiness, over 80%. The F-35's global logistics are controlled by the U.S., raising sovereignty concerns for Canada. Reports of F-35 reliability issues in extreme cold further complicate its suitability for Arctic missions. Critics argue the government's evaluation favored the F-35's deep strike capabilities, which may not be Canada's top priority. Gripen supporters point to its lower cost, higher readiness, cold weather performance, and industrial sovereignty. The choice, a specialized, expensive tool, or a reliable, adaptable fighter for Canada's real-world needs. The debate is about what matters most for Canadian defense. Canada's Arctic demands a fighter that can handle extreme weather and minimal infrastructure. The Gripen E, designed for Sweden's similar environment, excels here. It can operate from short, frozen runways and even reinforced roads, allowing for dispersed operations across the north. This flexibility makes the fleet harder to target and increases operational options in a crisis. The Gripen's rapid turnaround, refueled and rearmed in 10 minutes by a small team, means more sorties with fewer resources. Its systems are built for cold, ensuring reliable performance where others struggle. For Canadian pilots, knowing their jet is built for the north inspires confidence. The Gripen's design isn't just compatible with Canada's geography, it's made for it. The fighter decision will shape Canadian industry and sovereignty for decades. Saab's offer goes beyond JET's final assembly in Canada, full technology transfer, and local control over upgrades and maintenance. Canadian engineers would have access to the JET's source code, avoiding dependence on foreign governments for critical updates. Saab's proposal promises over 10,000 high-tech Canadian jobs, building a domestic aerospace ecosystem. In contrast, the F-35's industrial benefits are less direct. With Canadian firms competing in a global supply chain, the debate is polarized F-35 for U.S. interoperability or Gripen for affordability and sovereignty. Critics question whether the evaluation process overlooked the Gripen's advantages in cost, readiness, and control. The choice will define Canada's defense and industrial future. As of 2026, Canada faces a defining choice. Sticking with the F-35 means deep integration with U.S. air power, prioritizing high-end capability but at high cost and dependency. Choosing the Gripen E would mean a sustainable sovereign fleet built and maintained in Canada, suited for its geography and climate. A mixed fleet is possible, but experts warn it could create costly logistical headaches. The government's review continues, weighing alliance priorities against the Gripen's practical advantages. 
The decision will shape Canada's defense and industry for generations. Pilots are ready, the nation is watching, and the future of Canadian air power hangs in the balance. The sky is waiting.